Today we're going to talk about a part of the gospel that speaks to when Jesus healed a man that was paralyzed. The gospel says that a man that was paralyzed was laying on a mat and he had two friends that really wanted to see him healed. They didn't quite know what to do, so they got the idea that they would drag him on that mat to a place or a home where Jesus was. However, the home was just crowded and there were tons of people waiting outside. They didn't know how they were going to be able to get him in there to see Jesus. So they climbed up on top of the roof. Now, remember, roofs in that time and in that area were flat. They weren't peaked like we see a lot of roofs today. They climbed up on the roof, dug a hole through the roof, and actually lowered the man's body through the roof down to Jesus. So the body lowered, they lowered him down through, and Jesus looked at him and said to the man, your sins are forgiven. And then after a while, Jesus told the man to stand up and walk and be healed. Now when I read that in the gospel, it really makes me think, why is it that Jesus preferred to first forgive the man's sins and then heal him later? Why didn't he do it the other way around? Why didn't he heal him first and let him walk and then forgive him his sins? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know why. But that gospel really gets me thinking about the act of confession. As a priest, I've talked with many people that have come for confession. And one thing that I do notice is that people tend to be really weighted down and burdened with the guilt and the sadness for the sins that they've committed. And what happens is people tend to become what I call emotionally paralyzed when they come to confession and they get all of that off their chest and they feel that they've been forgiven, then they tend to feel much better. They feel that weight lifted off their shoulders. They feel that they've laid down that burden and they they approach life with a renewed sense of, of energy and enthusiasm. And I think that that's what Jesus was trying to get us to see, that we really have to address the emotional and spiritual body first and get that feeling better and then the physical part will come after. If we ignore the emotional and the spiritual part of ourselves we get too burdened and weighed down with all of that. If we confess it and get rid of it we feel better. Now after this Sunday starting Wednesday we start the period of Lent. So I would like to encourage each of you please to think about going to confession during Lent. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to kind of be present with God and to give over all those burdens to Him. God bless you.